According to information in recent developments, the US Marine Corps has officially retired several Super Cobra Bells from its fleet. This retirement has sparked great interest as many surplus R-1W Super Cobras are expected to find their way to the Philippines. The Philippine Air Force is interested in acquiring them at least 12 AH-1W Super Cobras from the US during the final years of the Philippine government. The Department of National Defense DND, announced that it was eyeing the acquisition of attack helicopters for the Philippine Air Force PAF to complement its dwindling fleet of light McDonnell Douglas MD520MG Defenders. Armed Helicopter With or without purchasing a new Bell R1Z Viper for its air needs, a joint U.S. military assistance group in the Philippines led by Lieutenant Colonel David S. Nelson of the USAF recently visited the Philippine Air Force's 15th Attack Wing to engage in discussions regarding various programs, shared projects and concerns. This is especially important as the FAIR magazine handles the administration of security and non-security assistance missions on behalf of the U.S. S. Armed Forces at the Pentagon The Philippine Air Force is actively considering the potential transfer of EDA attack helicopters which may include the Bell R-1W Super Cobra. Currently the Philippine Air Force operates two Bell R-1's Cobra attack helicopters which were received as goodwill and assistance from the Kingdom of Jordan in their fight against ISIS-inspired terrorists. This helicopter has now been officially commissioned and assigned to the 20th Attack Squadron of the 15th Attack Wing. It is worth noting that the Philippine Air Force has initiated a tender process to expand its R-1's Cobra. The Bell R-1 Cobra is a single-engine attack helicopter developed and manufactured by American helicopter manufacturer Bell Helicopter. A prolific member of the Huey family, the R-1 was also referred to as the Huey Cobra or Snake. The Bell R-1 Cobra is a specialized attack helicopter built to provide close air support and escort-friendly troop transports. The Cobra's visual design is intentionally sleek and looks like a fighter jet. Aviation writer Stanley McGowan observed that its appearance was very different from previous rotorcraft designed by Bell, having a relatively narrow fuselage and an unusual cockpit arrangement. The cockpit is covered by a large fighter plane-like canopy and the occupants are protected by armor including stainless steel seats and personal body armor. The aircraft is operated by a pilot and gunner, who sit in tandem with the commander positioned in the back seat while the gunner occupies the front position. This front position provides a higher level of visibility than the rear seats. Both positions are equipped with flight controls while both crew members are usually certified pilots, allowing Cobra controls to be swapped quickly during the mission. Most of the Cobra's armament could be mounted on several hardpoints mounted on wing stubs mounted on either side of the fuselage. Compared to an armed R1, the Cobra typically carried twice as much ammunition and arrived on station in half the time, also having a loiter time three times longer, allowing the type to arrive at designated landing zones ahead of the transport. Helicopters to clear them, provide fire support when they are present, and continue fighting when they retreat. The sleek profile of the helicopter allegedly provided a defensive advantage by making it difficult for opponents to accurately hit it with small arms fire, although Man Portable Air Defense Systems MANPADS, proved effective against the Cobra. The most vulnerable areas include the tail rotor drive shaft and main transmission. Typically, the Cobra will avoid hovering at any point in active combat. Instead, emphasis is placed on maintaining speed and mobility. Gunners often fired the chin-mounted cannon with the aim of suppressing enemy targets between a barrage of 2.75-inch rockets, housed in pods above the stub wings, fired from behind. Seat. Cobras are not used to operating alone. Instead, two or more people would be deployed and teamwork encouraged, so that hunter-killer tactics were used to sweep in and eliminate ground targets. Pairings with other helicopters, such as the Bell 058 Kiowa surveillance helicopter, also occur frequently. Radio communications are handled by the gunner. Regardless of the mission profile, low-altitude flights are common. <laughs>